Because one, we are all breatharian first. People say, oh, I'm vegan, oh, I'm vegetarian, oh, I'm pescatarian, oh, I'm a carnivore. No, we each are these living, loving, intelligent, potent, and immortal points of an absolute and supreme intelligence that is beginningless, endless, infinite, and eternal. That is the truth of everybody. All right, now the issue is because our bodies are perfectly and divinely designed, breath is the animating force of us. We are all breatharian first. We can live without the rest of it. You can't live without breathing, right? So, so when you get rid of all of the mucus producing foods, you're talking your pancakes, your waffles, your donuts, your, your dinner rolls, all of that flour and water, which is paste, is glue. Now, now what about, so, 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 I mean, and those who are watching, they know that I've been in the uh, culinary industry for 27 years and I, I've been in so many different kitchens and I'm seeing so many trends come and go. And right now it's definitely the big vegan trend. But people would say, okay, well, I'm not, you know, I'm gluten-free. Uh, I'm not eating the waffles. I'm eating gluten-free waffles and, and, and things like that. And uh, I'm doing okay. What do you, what do you think about that? As far as just- Our bodies are not designed for it. That's, and that's what I'm saying is that our bodies are perfectly and divinely designed. 90%, 95% of what we eat has nothing to do with creating the oxygenation, the hydration, the mineralization, the alkalization, or facilitating cellular regeneration or elimination. Most of the stuff that people are eating, they're eating because of our being under a system of capitalization and capitalism and commercialism and behavior modification. Behavior modification, meaning that the chemicals, the stabilizers and whatnot, what makes